Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 22 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys 9 different ways you can earn free stars in MLB 9 Innings 22. Now to preface, stars in this game are very, very rare to come by. A lot of times you're going to have to spend money to get them. Uh, and for some people, you may know these methods to get free stars, and others may not. So I really want to help you guys out. With stars, you can buy a lot of cool things such as premium packs, and other items from the store. You can also earn mileage from spending stars, and right now there's double mileage, so it's very important to know how to earn stars and how to use those stars. And in this video, I'm just gonna be going over how to earn and how to get those stars. Uh, you can use stars to buy a bunch of different things depending on your team's needs, but once you get the mileage from spending the stars, you can get, you can get really cool things such as signature player packs and uh, other cool items as well. But let's hop straight into the 9 different ways you can earn free stars in MLB 9 Innings 22. Alright, so the first way you can earn free stars in this game is by playing friend battles. You're going to go to battle mode and then click on the friend battle tab. And you can earn up to a certain amount of stars per day based on your team overall. As you see in the right corner here, I'm above 110 overall, so I get to earn 72 stars per day by playing friend battles. And if you're anywhere else on the list of overall, it'll show you how much stars you can earn. So 75 overall and above, you can earn 33. 80 and above, you can earn 39. And 85, you can earn 44. And so on and so forth. So the higher overall you are, the more stars you can earn per day. Now looking at the battles, uh, the amount of stars you can earn per battle is dependent on how high your friends overall is compared to yours. So as you can see at the top here, Fufu has an amazing team, 126 overall, and he's worth 20 stars. Uh, so since he's probably going to be impossible to beat, that's why he's worth so many stars. Uh, my personal preference when you go into friend battles to earn stars is by playing the teams that are worth 7 stars. Uh, from my personal experience, these teams aren't as hard to beat. Sometimes you may lose to them, but a majority of the time, you're going to win. And an important reminder, when you do play friend battles, once you beat a team uh, on that day and earn their stars from them, you cannot play them again to earn more stars. You're going to have to play other opponents, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, but yeah, this is a very easy way to earn stars just by playing battles. Uh, if you do the math, depending on how many you can earn per day, it should only take you a couple battles per day to earn a couple of stars. And it may not seem a lot in the beginning, but when you play them every single day, it all adds up at the end of the month, and it can become very important, especially when double mileage rolls around. You'll be able to spend those stars on a vintage combo, on a player pack, or on a different special combo. But yeah, friend battles are a very easy way to earn free stars. For this next way to earn free stars, you're going to want to go to your inbox, and in there you're going to find something called Event Add Item. Now, some of you may not see this in your inbox, and that is because you have to wait one hour after the game refreshes every single day in order for it to appear in your inbox. So, for example, for me, the game refreshes every single day at 6 o'clock p.m., so this event add item will only appear to me at 7 o'clock p.m. after the game has refreshed, and it will stay inside the inbox until the game refreshes again the next day. So I have the entire day uh, to open it up and use it as an opportunity to get free stars. Now, to earn free stars, what you're going to have to do is very simple. You just click on Add Reward, and you click OK, and all you need to do is watch an advertisement for 30 seconds, and then you have a chance of earning points or free stars from watching the ad. It's really, really simple. It's probably the easiest way to earn free stars, and I really recommend it. Uh, and it's only taking 30 seconds out of your day to do it, very short amount of time. And I would say this is probably the easiest way to earn free stars. So yeah, make sure you guys check this out every day, one hour after the game refreshes every single day. Another easy way to earn free stars is by playing arcade mode. So for this, you're gonna have to go to special mode and click on the arcade mode tab, and then 
as you look at level rewards in the top, you can see that every five levels or about every 10 levels or so, you can earn a certain amount of stars. Now these rewards refresh every single month and the stars included uh, total up to about 1,150 uh, stars per month if I did my math correctly. But yeah, so every time you reach a certain level in Arcade, you can earn that amount of stars. So at level 15, you can earn 50, level 75, you can earn 150, and at level 95, you can earn 300. Uh, this is one of the more tedious ways to earn stars due to the fact that you do have to play uh, the game mode in order to earn it, and you have to level up. But you can't pass up on this. 1,000 stars per month adds up to a lot, around 12,000 stars per year. So it's a great investment to earn free stars without having to spend real money. Another way to earn free stars is by getting weekly rewards from playing ranked games in ranked battle mode. In order to get to this mode, you're going to go to battle mode and then click on ranked battle. And here it'll show you a list of games you can play. And in the right corner here in this magnifying glass, you can click view reward. And this shows you the amount of stars you can earn for finishing in a certain tier. Now, in order to earn stars, all you need to do is play just one game per week. And it's not going to give you a lot of stars. You're going to finish down here in normal three, and you're going to earn 100 stars at the end of Sunday every single week. But the more you participate in this game mode, the more stars you're going to earn. And this also depends on your team overall. If you're a team that's just beginning, you're probably just going to earn 100 stars per week, no matter how many games you play. But once you get to where I'm at, at 114, 110 overall, I finish in gold 3, and I get 100, or not 100, I get 850 stars every single week. So uh, all this requires is participation every single week. You don't even have to play every single day. Like I said, you can play once or twice a day, or you can play just once a week if you like. Uh, it's way better than spending money, and I definitely recommend playing Ranked Battle every single week to earn free stars. This next way to earn free stars requires you to participate in club battles and club challenges. You can find this in the bottom right corner here where it says club. And club challenge, you can get weekly rewards, uh, which includes stars, club coins, and a couple other things as well. Uh, if you look at match record down here, you can see at rank reward, you can earn skill changes, uh, diamond packs, you can earn a bunch of other cool things uh, depending on where your club finishes. But more important thing, the gold reward will earn you stars. So at silver, gold, diamond, or legend, you can earn a certain amount of stars depending on where your club finishes. Uh, these are weekly rewards. These will refresh every single week if you participate. Unfortunately, if you don't participate in club, you won't be able to get these rewards. Only those that participate will be able to get your, those rewards, so make sure you do that. That's for club challenge. If you go back to club battle, it's a different reward system. Uh, these rewards refresh every two weeks, so you're going to do the same thing. Go to match record, go to rewards, and these are the rewards uh, that you can get depending on where your club finishes every single week in challenges. Uh, there will be battles every day and there will be challenge uh, games to play every single day. So if you play those games and you participate, then you can earn up to over a thousand stars every single week or two weeks. Uh, it's a great way to earn free stars again like the other methods and best thing about it, you don't have to spend any money at all. Probably the easiest way to earn stars is by doing events and doing daily check-in. You can do this by going to the top right corner and the gold baseball that says event. You can click on it and every single event doesn't have stars. Uh, like right now these two events, the check-in and the wheel event don't have stars. But the daily check-in that refreshes every day, you can earn stars up to three times per month, uh, 50 stars per week, which is very helpful. It all adds up. Uh, like a bunch of the other stars that you can earn. Uh, there's also events where you can spend stars and spend points and earn more stars and more coins back. So always be checking the gold baseball for events uh, that are happening every single week. A lot of times they're just free stars that you can get by logging in and it's a great opportunity to earn them without having to spend any kind of real money. And it doesn't take a lot of time at all, just logging in every single day and by clicking on the tab and checking the event. 
So this next method that I'm going to talk about is very similar to the previous one that I mentioned about participating in events. This one though is about the off-season event. Now the off-season event occurs from the end of October to around the beginning of April or the end of March. And in order to earn free stars from it, all you need to do is participate in it every single day by clicking in the top right corner here. And then this button, this orange button here will be available and will allow you to randomly get one reward from the listed rewards here on the screen, whether that be a skill change ticket, gold special training, premium player pack, silver player pack, or any amount of stars listed right there, 30, 50, or 100. Now you're not guaranteed to get stars every single day, but in past years from my experience, I've earned quite a lot of stars. I've probably earned over 2,000 or 3,000 stars ever since I started playing MLB 9 innings back in 2018. So this off-season event is a very great opportunity to earn free stars, uh, especially if you can't spend money or you don't have a lot of time to play this game. All you need to do for this is just log in and tap a button. So yeah, I really recommend this for every single player. It's very easy, very simple, and you can earn free stars. This next method to earn free stars, all you need to do is complete all three daily missions listed in challenges every single day, and you'll be able to earn 30 free stars for completing those missions. So as you can see for me, I had to play a ranked battle today, visit the auction, and do 20 repeatable missions. 20 re repeatable missions will be the same every single day. These missions will refresh every single day, but 20 repeatable missions will be the same. Uh, these two will fluctuate uh, between different missions, whether that be playing friend battle, clutch hits mode, arcade mode, and all that good stuff. And once you complete these three, you can earn 30 free stars, as you see at the top right here, every single day. Now, it might not seem a lot, like I've said before though, stars add up. And if you do the math, if you have 30 days in a month, and you can earn 30 stars per, per day, that adds up to a lot of stars. So, you're going to have to do a little bit here by participating in certain game modes, but it's a great way to get free stars without having to spend any money. All you need to do is spend a little bit of time. Usually, it will only take 10 to 20 minutes to do this and get 30 free stars. This final method to earn free stars requires you to do the play pass. Now, for the play pass, you could spend money on it and you would get more stars by doing the play pass. But if you go to challenges and you go to mission, as you can see, I earned a couple free stars here. I'll collect that. I earned 20 free stars for just doing uh, certain missions that are listed here. If you click on the magnifying glass, in the gold player pass and the diamond pass, there are certain missions that earn you points, and every time you earn a certain amount of points, uh, it'll give you 20 free stars. So if you scroll down every single time you reach uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it'll give you 20 free stars every time you hit that milestone. And the same thing goes for the diamond pass. Uh, I'm not sure how much stars it totals up to, but it's quite a lot every single month. Uh, the player pass, I'm not sure when it refreshes, um, but I'm pretty sure it refreshes every single month. And in order to earn these stars, all you need to do is play different modes, uh, train players, participate in events uh, for the Diamond Pass. It's a little bit different and might be a little more tricky. Uh, it involves more ranked battle, clutch hits mode, pick em, skill changing, training, club battle. But yeah, uh, basically if you play a bunch of game modes in the game, you can come back to these missions and earn free stars uh, every time you level up to the next level. So yeah, with the gold player pass, you don't have to spend money on it. You can if you want to, to earn the extra 30 stars right here that you see that are locked every single day, or down here, the extra 130 stars. But by just doing uh, everyday game modes, battle mode, league mode, club battle, you can earn 20 free stars every time you level up on the player pass when you play the game. So yeah, this is very simple, just requires participation, uh, no need to spend money, and just need to spend time playing the game. Okay guys, and that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you guys out at all, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video and also sharing it. I would really appreciate it. Uh, also, go ahead and check the description box down below. I have an Instagram and a Reddit account that are devoted to MLB 9 innings. So if you want to go and check that out for extra content, uh, feel free to follow me down there. 
I also have a Discord server that you guys can join if you're interested. I do MLB 90s content on there as well. But that's going to pretty much do it. Uh, thank you again for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video.